take them away and don't party too hard tonight. Off you go. Yeah, they know it. Thank you. So, um, so there's that lot, um, and they're amazing. But, 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 you know, there's a picture that, that I posted on Twitter um, where it was two pictures. One was from November last year. So after Ichake Festival, we get together in November and we start planning the next one. And there's a picture of us, you know, arguing about black bodies, gray matter. And then last, I think it was this week actually, just, no, yeah, earlier on in the week we were here doing our final run through. I would like to invite every member of my team, my core team, to come out to be for recognition so that you can see how amazing they are. They have a tradition of not coming out. I should warn you, but push them in this direction if you see them. Ola, please, you know that thing you normally do. <laughs> I'm sure that um, Alex, no, Amaka, oh yeah, come. Come first. Where's Demola, Toby, Chebuka, Alex? Did you guys plan this? No, we're just handling share. <laughs> <laughs> well, we sure as hell didn't do this just by ourselves, did we? No, yeah. So, um, come here, Mochi. Where's Soji? These guys, honestly, anyway. These guys will be representing my core team. I mean, you would have seen them every day anyway. They wear t-shirts that have team on the back. And I just want to say how much I appreciate the work that you do for us. Hmm? You are, these guys are incredible. They are amazing. Every day, it's fun, it's jokes. Sometimes I shout at them <laughs> when they're naughty. <laughs> but on the whole, I can't even imagine my life without them sometimes, to be honest, because they really, really enrich my life. And I want to thank you guys, all of you, for that. Thank you for the work that you put in to this festival. You didn't even get to see a single panel or book chat. He was in the bookstore the whole time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please thank them for me. Um, I also would like you to so every time I come out and say, check your mics, and then you pick up the mics and they actually work, that is the wonderful work of Shion Adeleye and his team. <laughs> these, events, these events are so difficult if you do not have a media team that understands your vision and actually takes the time to plan ahead so that everything comes together. So when we want to see a film, we can see it. When we want to dance, whatever, we've got the space for it. Shion, Prince, all these guys manage that for me, and I really want to thank you. Please join me in giving them a really big round of applause. We don't have. Um, Everybody, um, well, not everybody, I, w I won't exaggerate, but a lot of people that I have spoken to over the last four days have said how beautiful this venue is, how appropriate it is, how it just seems, everything just works. So many people fell in love with the cinema and what they, they go into the spaces that we've created and they're just like, this is nice because it's like a cultural village. Um, I really want us to thank um, Alliance Francaise for, for 
giving us this space and letting us use it. Um, thank you very much, Shal and Morris, who is amazing and helped us with, you know, do all the, those little, little niggly things. I also want to thank the staff and management of Eric Kaiser. Normally, this is actually a restaurant. So what we've done, a lot of the people who come here, they keep giving us the evil eye when they're going to get the bread because they actually came to eat. Maybe they didn't get the memo, but <laughs> I mean, it can't have been easy for them because it's a kind of, we've taken over the entire space. They shut the school down for us, the French school. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Alliance. Yes, Mr. Ibrahim as well. Thank you so much for all your work. Thank you, thank you. We wouldn't be able to do this without our main partner. I think I've said this in just about every interview that I've done. I am certain that Ake Arts and Book Festival is the only festival on this, in Sub-Saharan Africa that is primarily funded by an indigenous company. I have kind of done the different, look for funding. Fundraising is, a, is, 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 um, is torture. <laughs> Those who've done it know what it's like. It's very difficult. Um, and I've, I mean, at the very beginning, we got a really nice, fat, juicy grant from the World Bank. And then we were kind of propped up by different organizations. And then, you know, two years ago, we came in contact with Sterling and they started small, loved what we were doing, and then said, you know what, we want to partner with you, um, and perhaps for some years to come. Abu Bakr and, um, Abu Bakr Suleiman and Yemi Odubi, I think one of the things that's really special about them is that they get this. They get what we're doing. They, they understand that this is an investment, but it's not necessarily an investment that's going to bring quick returns. This is a long term, you know? Some of the young people who are here are going to be the Chimamanda Adichies of tomorrow, the Chika Uniguez, the Helon Habilas. They get the value of culture to every society. And I really, really want you to help me give them a big round of applause. I want them to hear, because they're not here. Thank you very much. And I also want to thank some of our other sponsors. Many of you have gone to do interviews at um, News Central. Thank you very much for that. But they've been very generous. We've got Budweiser. We've got the American Embassy, the Goethe Institute, the Canadian Government of Canada, um, Right Foods, Fate Foundation, Annoying Logo, Crayolan, the Miles Morland Foundation, Peugeot, Vlisco, Osiwa, Weeder Books, Nikon, and the African Women's Development Fund. Please say a big thank you to these people for me. We're very, very grateful. And we also thank our supporters, especially our media supporters, Sin City, Zam, The Lagos Review, Bella Niger, Bacardi, they're not a media company, sorry, um, Why Niger, Cafe One, Guardian Life, Zikoko Pulse, Origin, and they'll be serving us tonight, and Diary of a Niger Girl. I want to say a very big thank you to all of them. Please give them a round of applause. So, very quickly, I would like everyone here who's an invited guest, who've come all the way from wherever they have come from in the world to stand up. All our guests, the 2019 guests, Ake Arts and Book Festival guests. Eh? Sit down. <laughs> no, not you, not you. I'm talking to Ayo. <laughs> okay, so there's no way. You have all the money in the world, but these people, if they didn't come here to speak to us with the openness, the honesty, 
that they have done over the last four days, there just wouldn't be a festival. And we are so grateful to you for your time and for coming to join us in this space, for not listening to the stuff that you read on the media about Nigeria, and for believing in this vision that we are going to not only um, come together, we're going to network, we're going to create new things, but we are going to fuck the patriarchy. Thank you very much, all of you. Thank you, please sit. And, uh, okay, everybody who is not a guest, stand up. <laughs> so you have the guests too, you have all the money in the world, you put up this event without the people who come and sit in these seats, who come and read the books and buy the books, nothing. So I want the guests now to give the audience, the visitors, a round of applause. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. Thank you for understanding that sometimes even with culture, with the arts, you have to pay a little something to attend and to have the benefit of enjoying everything that we've enjoyed over the last four days. It's been 50 events that we've done and I am I'm excited about tonight's party. Um, have I forgotten anyone? I don't think I have. Who? <laughs> right, so you know what? We're just going to start our poetry. We're gonna jump right in because I'm determined that we're going to get out of here by 7.20. So. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to invite um, somebody, you, you know when you're a writer, one of the great things is that you get to travel the world um, and I've, it's something I've really enjoyed, meeting people in different places. So I met Onias in Amsterdam and I looked at him and I listened to him and I thought, he, I've never heard his poetry, I should own up to that. but. I could see that there was something special. And I could see that he would really benefit from coming to Africa and from coming to Nigeria. I think that the, con I just believe that it was an important connection. So we invited him and here he is, all the way from the Netherlands. Join me in welcoming Anias Landveld. <laughs> Good evening, Ake Festival. Thank you for having me here. I had a wonderful time, um, but I don't have a lot of time, so we're just gonna jump right in. Uh, this poem is because I saw Womanizer last night. Her face didn't launch a thousand ships, but she was beautiful, funny, nice. She didn't hang with a wild crowd, but even if she did, she would have remained terrifically pleasant and bright. But unfortunately in this world, especially the innocent get hurt. So there was no defense against the offense that was about to ensue when a young man came out of the shadow and decided to destroy a person. So she cried while he decided to start his hurting and she was wailing and she will never be the same. Because no one dared to defend her, no one dared to take on that fight. Everyone forgot her name, imagine her shame when some laughed and said, well, you were always trouble. Boys will be boys. Too bad they're not real men. In this world, we tend to sexualize a lot of things, from candy to people blowing out cigarette smoke, and we look at these pictures like addicts sniffing for coke, and we cultivate lust in our members, and when it gets too hard, we surrender and turn into a degenerate gender. Aren't we ashamed of the lives that we've claimed? 
Sex is used to destroy while sex can create, but why am I calling this sex while it clearly is rape? But hey, these words are too late for this little girl who turned to winter from summer overnight. If only I was a bit bigger back then. If only I was a bit quicker to understand the, the damage that had happened before it began, it would have ended because I, with all my might, I would have defended. I was born in Suriname, a small country in South America, and it was a colony, and my first experience in Africa has been wonderful, so allow me to greet you. I carry in me those that were missing for 400 years. Those that sang songs about home while holding back tears. The ones that were missing from your roster. Those who in the blink of an eye you would instantly recognize because although some color and language may have changed or voices and mannerisms remained the same, now as seedlings we are paying homage to our tree because we were mixed and scattered to build other civilizations, forced to serve at thrones of other nations, but we, we never forgot the truth. We are writers, scholars, philosophers, poets, warriors. We are you. Comment allez-vous? As-tu bien dormi? Tu ne me reconnais pas? Without shackles weighing us down, we long to come home, walking through our gate of return. Because if our past remains a mystery, we will never be free. How are you? Did you sleep well? Do you recognize me? When I was four years old, we had to flee a civil war in Suriname. So we ended in the Netherlands. And, and I was the only black kid in an all-white school. And one day I went home crying to my dad. And I told him, why did you name me this? Because they cannot pronounce my names. And why did you give me a, why, did, well, why do we have a last name that sounds so Dutch? And he, he schooled me. And, and time fails me to tell you that he told me I named you after founders of villages. I named you after healers. I gave you my name. Time fails me to tell you you about my ancestors, how she and four sisters were transported from this continent in a boat all the way to South America, how three of them died going there, how she was whipped until you could take the meat off her bone, how she escaped plantations to settle herself with others in the jungle of Suriname where culture flourished, where language came out of nothing. Time fills me to tell you how my ancestors shouted Lanti Fair, which means land fear, me. But I have just enough time to tell you who I am. My name is Musifata Onyasi Akwesetio Gunguka Landfeld. I'm a melting pot. Some even say you're some, some of a mixed blood. I was distilled out of Okanisi and Saramakan people. That makes me a maroon, a man that is dark on both sides. My helix is wrapped around Africa at least four times. I am black squared, the pride of my tribe. My name has suffered from degeneration. You see, in the fight against oppression and enslavement, my forefather, Kaliko, he stood on the front line. And he yelled out, Lanti Fair, in the fight for his life. And in that lies Lundfeld, his identity, because this is what he said. Slave owners fear me. I, a man who will fight until his last breath for his God-given right free. I, a man whose only unfortune was the day of my birth. That's what, that was his crime. That's what I hail from. That's why these names are mine. They are evidence of the unnatural way that they form my family line. I am here because people's lives were, were shoveled like cards, and then they subsequently stacked the deck.
You know, circumstances make family. Choices, they make enemies. I will always remain the testimony of my forefathers, so I will always carry these names. But I hope and I pray that we don't have to go back to a time where it is necessary to generate fear as in my forefather his days. That being said, I will remain Musifata Onyasi Akwensetio Gunguka Lantifer. Thank you. I just want you to know, and I know that every Nigerian in this room feels the same, I want you to know that you are home, okay? So the next person I'm going to invite is the wonderful poet. Some of you listened to him, heard him in the, um, at the opening ceremony. So he's going to come and very quickly perform two poems. Join me in welcoming the incredible Logan February. <laughs> <laughs> 